think the key to success is to understand that not everybody is working hard. Mm. You think that everybody's working hard, but that's a given, and there is no givens in success. Everything is kind of like taken. I think there may be just givens in luck. You can't yeah. just be lucky. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't work hard, man. I just came out, this girl saw me, and she was like, I'm make you a model. It's like, cool, that, that happens, you know what I mean? It does happen. But that hard work is a choice, and I don't think everybody works hard, and I don't think that everybody works hard all the time. So you can work hard some of the time, and then sometimes you're not working hard. Or you can work hard all the time, and your just lifestyle and your mindset is always, always working hard, as opposed to, because if you have an opposition, if hard, if hard work has an opposition to, like, I don't even know what the opposition would be. Laziness or complacency? Laziness is like, it, it, like you know, like you have to have, you gotta have so much compassion for people because mm. people want the best for themselves, but there's so many things working in society and parenting and all the things that happen to us human beings as we grow up that can make us seem like we're lazy, mm -hmm. but in actuality, we just don't know how to grab the things that we want to grab. And I've been there, you know what I mean? Like I've, I've lived all that stuff, you know what I mean? Like I, I've been through it all. So I, like I have compassion for people. I, and so I wouldn't want to use a term that I, that, that I feel is negative, but mm -hmm. if hard work has an opposition, then how much percent of the time are we here and how much percent of the time are we here? And does that gauge in our success? So if we do this all the time, like we are optimizing, maximizing our potential for success. And if we don't do it, our potential diminishes. So you can say, hey man, I'm like, I'm working at like 30% potential and look at all the cool things that I got. It's like, yes, you, you are successful that you got those things, congratulations, but what, what if you had worked hard all the time? Mm -hmm how much more shit would you got? Cause you would have gotten the same shit that you got here, but you would have gotten a couple bonus stages. Like if you remember Sonic the Hedgehog back in the days, like you go through the Sonic and all of a sudden you end up with the big ring, you go to like a bonus stage. And in that bonus stage, you could like get a couple rings and get bopped out of the bonus stage. Or you could be in the bonus stage and just be murdering it for three, four minutes in the bonus stage before you even go back to the main stage. And you have so many coins from that bonus stage. Life is like that, man. You just. So if you say yes to things and you stay positive and you keep walking and walking and talking to talk, you will get those bonus stages on top of the shit that you're gonna get anyways, just because you're so good looking. Or just because you you know you're so talented. I mean your talent and your looks and all the things that you have, you got that. So it's just a matter of the hard work that's gonna make up the bonus stages. And then when you have all that shit, all this shit plus the hard work. Those are the people that you're looking at, Michael like Jordan. Legends. You're looking at Michael Jackson, because they had all the regular the shit. The talent plus the hard work. So that's, I mean, that's what Duke Sims' conclusion is. The hard work will pay off, and the harder you work, the more successful you will be. Oh, yep, because you're fulfilling your, you're, fulfilling your you're, you're going for your potential. Yep, the most. Respect. Nice. Keep Respect. doing the things, <laughs> everybody out there. I know work it can hard. be hard, man. So I understand, you know what I mean? And just come out here just talking about this shit. It took fucking years to get to this point where my mindset could be like this. And the other thing Prince was talking about is forgiveness. You can instantly forgive somebody. That is a choice. You don't have to slowly forgive people or hold on to things. When you hold on to uh, those type of things, resentments or whatever things you hold against people, you hold, you hold yourself back from your soul, from expressing because we all are one, we're all the same. So you hold something against somebody, you hold something against yourself. You can instantly forgive people. He, Prince said that in this Rolling Stone also. You know, you can instantly forgive somebody and just disarm the whole shit for your, for your side. You can't tell people how they can feel. They can do whatever they want. If you instantly forgive somebody and you can just move on and say that person is doing the best that they could. You know, in this world, it's imperfect people being raised by imperfect people who were raised by imperfect people. And it's like a rap song, but it's real. It's like, we're all doing the best we can. There's no perfect person. You know what I mean? So we all, from generation to generation, we gotta just pass on that good vibe, the good consciousness, the good energy of love, and you know, the good stuff, man. Fulfilling your potential, eating right, feeding your body good things, and all that stuff, man. 